Hello, I am Gepwin, and welcome back to Besiege the Mystical, Magical, Marvelous Explosion Game. Where you're gonna try to build stuff up. Build stuff up and blow stuff up. I was gonna say blow stuff up, but build stuff up, also correct. It's a way to go me. Okay, we're going back to the windmill. My favorite level for building things upon, because nothing shoots at you. You have a nice juicy target. It's sort of like completing a story mode mission, but not really, because who, who cares it's a windmill? Anyway, th actually, I want to say this, because the reason that I build on this level, as opposed to... I want this to be way further up. Weeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
play, it should swing, you know, freely, like that, like the chain does. There we go. So we got the chain. If we turn our bounding box back on, we are well within our bounding box. I could have made this longer. But anyway, that's how you get the chains to work going that way. It's a bit of a pain, but I'm surprised to pull it off, to be honest with you. Now I want to put a gripper grabber on the end here. Yep, the grippy grabber. It's the technical term, obviously. You know, this thing might fall by itself if I'm not using a counterweight. So we'll put some springs on. Springy spring, pulling down, and spring spring, pulling down. And yeah, it falls by itself, then it sits, then we pull the spring, it goes whoosha and breaks. Of course it does. Let's watch that in slow motion and see why we're snapping in half. Whoosha! Whoosh! Of course we're not. But you see that little flicky? That extra little flicky you get? I, I can never make these things break. Doesn't matter. We need a bomb there that we can grab. And we need something to limit this falling. But see, when you... Hmm, that's going to be a problem, limiting it falling without limiting this. But when you pull... Ooh, see that flip? You let go of it right there, and that gives you a lot of extra momentum. That is the advantage of a trebuchet over a catapult. Because catapults, I just learned from another thing I was watching, I forget what, that apparently catapults were not actually used as much as one would think of during the Middle Ages. They were earlier, they were more of a Roman thing. Now this thing was moving up a storm, so we're going to add s hmm, 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 you know what, you know what, this thing was moving too much, it was bouncing up and down. But that is because, let's still add some struts, but now we've got normal wheels. We've got good old wooden wheels, we've got unpowered wheels, which obviously were the only kinds of types of a wheel available in the Middle Ages. So if we move this up a bit, so we can get some, yeah I know, let me get some wheels on. Put you down in a second. Now if we actually get some wheels on this thing, let's see if this works. If we get some wheels on this thing, then, whoa, yeah, sort of, almost, ooh, and it spins, hey, look at it go, wee, oh, it's stuck, nope, nope, still going, still going, excellent, excellent, it kind of works, see how it moves back and forth like that, yeah, it moves back and forth like that, so what we have actually created, since we have the springs here, and not a swing weight counterweight system. We've now created a fixed weight trebuchet. Now there were two major kinds of trebuchet. There was the fixed weight trebuchet and the swing weight trebuchet. Now the swing weight trebuchet became more common partially because it worked slightly more efficiently and it was mildly safer to use, though safe is a very, very relative term when you're talking about these things. But it was slightly safer for the people operating it, as well as uh, as well as well um, working more efficiently. But the basic idea is, it's, it's very hard to demonstrate without an animation or something, but I'll try to figure out how to talk about it. So you saw, when we fire this thing, let's, let's play, and then that sticks. Then we have to fire, I'll have to fire and let go at the same time, which I wouldn't normally. But so we fire this thing, right? And it see how the wheels move it back and then forward again. Now that creates a weird complicated arc pattern in how the weight f is actually being drawn down and gives it more fall speed. I don't think that actually happens when you have the springs, but if in this case it's absorbing some of the shock. It would, so the wheels are keeping it from rocking quite as much, which is incredibly dangerous. The wheels let it go forward and backward instead of rocking uh, on its base. And that also imparted slightly more power, just in the way that the uh, in the way that the thing was working on its own. Now uh, let's. I need to put up a thing here so we can get a bomb. Well, crud, crudity, crud, crud. This thing is an even number of blocks long. I wasn't counting on that. Well, let's get a bomb in here anyway. We'll see if this works. I want a bomb. Intersection, of course, there is. 
Of course there's an intersection. Stupid, stupid, stupid thing. We need a half block building system if it's going to actually work out like this. Anyway, that shouldn't be attached. But it doesn't grab it. Anyway, as I was saying... Stop that. We'll put that there. We'll get this rid of this. We'll put in the bomb. Bomb. And we should be able to put back in this thing. No? Really? This is just a little too... Well, let's put the bomb on top of a wheel then. Remove that. These half blocks are messing up everything. That should be attached now. Yeah. Good. That's attached. So anyway, the swing weight did more or less the same thing, but it didn't need the wheels. The weight itself was was taking up some of the dampening effect. Alright, let's fire. What? Release! There we go. We imparted a little extra swing on that. Boom. Nothing spectacular. And then it broke itself. But this is our functioning trebuchet. Isn't that neat? I like it. Whoa. And flip. Ah, yeah. We might need to add a couple more springs, because uh, that seems to be our limiting factor at the moment, is the springs are not carrying their weight here. Though that's also going to make it break. So anyway, we use, putting the wheels on helps us absorb some of the some of the momentum problem we were having. This is going to break. This is going to break a lot. Let's let this curl up a little bit, huh? And fire! Oh, that's got some range on it. There we go. Now we've got some range going. Ha-ha! I don't know why we want range, but we've got some. Now for the secondary challenge that I was uh, going to try to set myself. Is seeing if we can make this thing reloadable. Which is going to be nearly impossible, I know. I know. It's a fool's errand. I'm a fool. This is my errand. i got some chores to do. Foolishly. Now let's see if this explodes. It doesn't, I'm surprised, though it does break. And then probably explodes. Yes? We want to see an explosion! There we go! I thought it wasn't gonna. I, I really thought it wasn't gonna do anything. Oh, anyway, we've 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 done the trebuchet thing. If you, I, I I don't know how easy it is to find because it's an old, old old thing. But if you want to learn more about trebuchets, there was this amazing old uh, PBS special. Uh, I almost said Channel Eight, but that means nothing to anyone who grew up outside of Arizona. Uh, there's this really old there's this really old PBS special um, where they actually built a trebuchet that I forget what they called the series that did several in this series that did one where they tried where they rose rose a sarsen stone uh, for for uh, Stonehenge they did some experiments and figured out how they might have raised those they did one where they lifted up a pyramid block they built a very small pyramid using only contemporary tools and they come on oh I thought it was going to destroy the thing no but it's moving forward. We've invented uh, combustion power. The uh, hat. They did another. Yeah, what did they do? They did. They did another one where they. They built a very small pyramid. They had one with an obelisk, which was very similar to the stars and the stones. So I didn't see the point of that exactly. I guess I should kind of attach to the actual swing weight portion here. So sometimes I like to. Let's get rid of this. But they also had... what intersection? Is it too high? That's too tall, isn't it? Okay, so I can't do that, but we'll attach to the swing weight anyway. But the one that I was talking about is they built a, uh, a medieval trebuchet. And they actually... they built most of it with, um, with contemporary tools. I think they were running... they were running on a bit of a deadline because it was a TV show, but... Uh, they, I think they sped up a little, a little bit of the construction with power tools near the end, but they did a lot of explaining how trebuchets work. It was an amazing, amazing series. Boom! Ha 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 ha! Yes. So much yes. All right, now we just need to see if we can 
get uh, any kind of reloading functionality in here without it breaking. Let's build a little box for our bombs, a little bomb box. Which is not going to work because the bombs are not going to like being in there. Yeah. Not going to work at all. Oops. Undo. Undo. Whatever I did. Anyway, amazing, amazing trebuchet series you should look at. I I was pretty obsessed with trebuchets as a kid. They're really cool. They are just, just some of the coolest things. Alright, let's get a hinge over here. Good, and I want to... Hmm, this angle might be too extreme. Well, if I have the hinge like that, does that actually add any incline? No, pretty much not. It does not. It really doesn't. So I don't know how to actually add any incline to what I'm trying to do here. So let's not. Let's put in a few bombs. So the bomb can be off center a little bit. And we'll put in a few bombs for testing porpoises. You gotta test your whales. Not gonna work if you don't test your dolph dolphins, not not whales. I know the difference. Shut up. And there, there, and there. Good. Now this is going to explode when we fire this. See, like what? Oh, it didn't. What do you know? Huh. And the motion. Oop, broke. So much breaking. Yeah. Now I had some success with having a couple of springs on my on a reloading ballista that I made, and uh, these didn't do anything. I had them set to something to a key I never used, but they they basically just pulled the thing back to its original position. Whoop! And. Come on, come on, come on. Grab, 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 grab a bomb. Grab a bomb. Not that bomb. Not that bomb. <laughs> oh well. Whoa, wait, we got two shots. That's two. Oh! Oh, but two. But we got two. Two is good. Let's see if we can get any more. Uh, let's see if we can improve this even slightly. <laughs> so first off, this is dangerous. These are going to slip off the end here. That is a definite um, hazard that you don't want to have with your bombs is them falling off the front of your trebuchet definitely not what you want so we're going to add a little bit of a stopper here and I think we might actually add a piston and I can't remember if you can it. whoa okay somebody doesn't like that alright then Strange. Strange, strange, strange. I don't like that. Yeah, I can't remember if you can make the piston come out more slowly or not. It can still put. Alright, if they get too far, we can push. So, we've completed. The, yeah, I know we completed the Fire! Oh! Try that. <laughs> Why? It just spontaneously explodes most of the time. I think it might be this piston. Get rid of that. There, that that might have fixed. Yeah, no spontaneous explosion. All right, fire V. Then it should come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Oh. Oh, that's an interesting way to do it. Eh. Eh. Come on, swing back around, swing back around, please, please, please. No, no. Oh, okay, I fired too far. We might need to put some kind of limiter on this to uh, keep it from overstretching. Okay, <laughs> explosion. Fire. Oh. Oh, destroy the. Th oh, Destroy it. Destroy it. Destroy the windmill. Ha ha! We win. We win. Oh, that's fun. Anyway, trebuchet. Download is going to be. Uh, uh, let's save it before I forget. You can play with this thing if you want. It's going to explode. 
Oh yeah, I also built this Ferris wheel you tried to say. Maybe I'll show you that. That's cool. If you would like. I'll put that in the end credits because I, I like the thing. It's neat. It does very little. We'll call this one the Trebuchet. I know I'm spelling it wrong. Uh, trebuchet Wheels. There's an H in wheels, I think. Pretty sure. Pretty sure there's an H in there somewhere. You know, one of it's one of it's just one of those letters. Eh. Eh, why is this image not show okay, I need to load this and, and see, because this the image on this is not showing Alright, it's just not showing the parts. It wasn't showing any of these and I wondered if the whole thing was gonna just catch fire and blow up when I loaded it. Alright, let's load this thing and I can show it to you. It obviously doesn't fit in the bounding box. And um I think it fires this way. Yeah, it fires that way. Obviously it doesn't fit in the bounding box, so it's a fun thing I was playing with earlier. It does fire pretty far, so let's whoop see if we can maybe aim it at this windmill. These things are so hard to aim. That looks like it's lined up right. Okay. Turn speed down. Let's watch it go. Rev up. Rev, 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 rev. Alright. There it goes. By the way, you f if you want to play with this, you fire it with one, two, three, and four, the number keys. One, two, three, and four. I put little notes on so I can tell which one's which. Anyway, that has been this episode. Wow. I really hope... Oop, that let go too late. I really hope that you've enjoyed. If you did, you can leave a like. If you really did and would like to see more of this kind of thing, you can subscribe. Ah, damn it. <laughs> Off the other way. As always, my name is Gavwood. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you soon. Mm.